in this video we are going to talk about gravity and then demonstrate that how it is a result of time dilation and so this video is mostly going to be a kind of a demonstration video with visual diagrams right and we are going to be focusing on uh, something that is called a space-time diagram right so before we proceed we're going to start with an experiment a practical experiment and uh, the experiment is something like consider that you have a very tall building right and so uh, there is a top floor and a ground floor so I'm going to represent this upper line as a top floor of that building and this lower line as the ground floor of the building right and so for each floor you have a clock right so this circle that I'm drawing uh, consider this that this is the clock right okay right now we uh, our experiment is going to be something like we will have a source of light so at the ground floor so let me actually label this G as this is the ground floor and this is T that is the top floor right so from the ground floor we are going to emit a photon and uh, it's going to be in such a direction that its goal is to reach the top floor so from a ground floor we have a photon and we have to send it to the top floor right okay so it has to reach over here and as soon as the photon reaches over there we are going to stop the clock and so the, we are going to start the clocks when the photon leaves the ground floor and we are going to stop the clocks as soon as it reaches the top floor right so now when we do that right what we uh, see is or what the result of this experiment is that when the photon leaves the ground floor it leaves it at let's say the time is 1.000 and like approximately or exactly actually uh, at 1.00 seconds right but when the photon reaches the top floor it reaches the top floor at some 1.000 and well a lot of zeros and then one second and so of course the difference is extremely minute but a difference is a difference right and so it's going to have a consequence on uh, on the physics right and so uh, if you think about this uh, for a bit what this tells you is that the uh, clock that is uh, closer to the ground is actually going to be is running a bit slower compared to the clock that is uh, uh, at some height from the ground right so let me actually also label this as the height difference h right and so what does this tell you this actually tells you that for a difference in height there is going to be uh, some difference in time and well uh, this is the time dilation right okay so now let's uh, apply this uh, experiment to a situation where what I'm going to do is uh, we will consider uh, in a space-time diagram let me actually first draw that right okay so on uh, the horizontal axis I have my time coordinate that is x0 now if you remember this is nothing uh, or actually let me instead of saying x0 let me say it, it is t right and well on my uh, vertical axis I have my position right now consider uh, that we have an object that's uh, let's say that it is a brick 
right so we have a brick and it is lifted at some uh, height right okay so it's not sitting at the ground right okay so we're going to have two points for this brick now let's say that the bottom point that is uh, closer to the ground it's point A and the point that is uh, at some height above the ground it's point B okay right now well we are going to start with the assumption that we have no idea about gravity at this time right so we don't have any concept of gravity right okay so with that then the object is always going to stay at this position uh, which is it uh, initially right so it's never going to fall to the ground and we said that it is above the ground right initially so uh, as long as we ignore gravity we can say that it will never fall to the ground right and that obviously comes from Newton's laws that states that uh, an object is going to st remain stationary if it is not uh, moving or not given a force right okay right so with that then uh, if we think about uh, the experiment that we just constructed over here how would this experiment affect this uh, space-time diagram of uh, of an idea that we just uh, created right so let's uh, see what is actually going to happen right so it, in some later time right uh, let me draw this diagram again over here right so likewise this is T and this is X right uh, before I do that I'm also going to mention that if you uh, look at this above space-time diagram, right, this one, the object is always going to remain stationary in the position axis, right? However, it will always be moving in the time coordinate. Well, time is uh, pretty selfish and it's not going to stop for anyone. And so what that means is then we will have to say that this object is always moving in the time direction right so it has some uh, velocity that we call the four velocity in the time direction right so if you now look at this uh, uh, divergence right of the time it is pointing uh, in the direction of time right so it's pointing uh, horizontally right okay now if we consider this experiment that we constructed the one on the right side and we apply it to our uh, situation over here what's going to happen right well we already know now that the point that is closer to the ground is going to move slower in the time axis compared to the point that is at some height above the ground right and so with that then we can construct these two points a and b in such a way that point a lags behind in time compared to point b that is this right and so uh, this is point a and this is point b and so the object will appear to be kind of tilted right well if you think about it the object is not really tilted uh, the four velocity for this object is now going to point which is the normal to this plane right and so it's going to point a bit downward right so now this would be the direction of the four velocity well that kind of sparks an idea right now in your brain that well now because of this time dilation what is happening the object 
is changing its velocity direction and it's changing it in such a way that it's going uh, or moving closer and closer to the ground right so because this is for two discrete uh, times but if you make it a continuous uh, curve so well, that's going to uh, look something like this right so say that the, here we have the object here and so it's going to go, go continuously downwards right so again this is just a rough diagram this is time and this is space and so it's eventually going to fall to the ground and so what does that tell you that uh, simply tells you that there is this time dilation between the two points uh, that are separated by some height from the ground this time dilation is causing the object to fall to the ground and so if you think about it then it this experiment or this explanation of gravity it it just came out of uh, something that we call uh, in special relativity the time dilation and so we had to totally not even consider anything uh, previously known about gravity we completely ignored uh, Newton's law of gravity and so this result in my opinion is really beautiful because uh, we all think about gravity in various ways right and so this explanation of gravity uh, is extremely beautiful right and it just pops out of a simple phenomena of nature how nature is right and so it is a result of nature and which just comes out of nature right and so this uh, video was just to demonstrate uh, diagrammatically uh, the idea of uh, gravity how it pops out of uh, a simple phenomena that is in special relativity known as time dilation right and so that's it for this video it was a small video and uh, it was there was not much mathematics but I believe that the result that you understood from this video uh, you would find it extremely beautiful as well